Hey guys, it's me, Kimberly. I truly believe you should live in rooms you love. Check out this week's project and see how we go from drab to fat. On this channel, we show you the process of how our projects get to the next level. So let's talk about the befores of this project. It was a sectional with a chaise lounge and an ottoman. Why I don't feel this is the best use of this space. The sectional has a corner and the corner doesn't get utilized when guests come over. People like to lean on chair arms. The ottoman, not very conducive to serving food and beverages. First thing you gotta do is find somewhere else to put those toys because there's nowhere to store toys in that room. Second thing is instead of a sectional, do two large sofas, 98 and a half inches each. This sofa is called the Jokapone. It has two curved arms, so it's sort of transitional looking. Remove the big ottoman and put in two massive rectangular coffee tables to create one big square. And then two accessory chairs on the opposite side of the room so there's more conversation area and traffic flow. Final two pieces needed are an end table to ground those two sofas and a little martini table between those two chairs so you can put down a cup of tea. The room was quite large so it needed two coffee tables. Don't be afraid guys to put two rectangular or square coffee tables together to make one big piece. The only tip I have for you there is make sure the edges are all straight. If something's beveled at the end it won't work. For the color story we wanted super neutral so beigey taupey colors with a little bit of gray. We we did different fabrics for the sofas and for the two chairs, but they coordinate beautifully. One has a little bit of texture, one's more flat, and the carpet sort of brings out the best of everything. So let's talk about the art and mirrors in that space. On top of the fireplace, we decided to do two big square pieces of art that are the same actually mounted side by side that pick up that bluey purpley tone in the ceiling and on the walls. So then on either side of the fireplace, we couldn't do art again, so we did two beautiful mirrors reflect beautifully against that dark back bluey purpley color because there was cutouts in the millwork underneath the mirrors where the mirror is we didn't want to put something too extravagant or too busy so we just did two vases symmetrically on each side with greenery coming out and then in those shelves we placed very well balanced books and objects and these gorgeous sculptures of people with a marble base and gold. Let me give you a tip how to curate a coffee table. So because this is one big coffee table, you couldn't do one solid piece in the center. So let's break that up into two. A tray with two candle holders and a vase with some greenery that coordinated with our other greenery in the room. And then on the other side, directly angled across from it, we have a beautiful gold bowl with cutout just to open up that area and space it out a bit. Another tip is when you guys are displaying on a coffee table, make sure there's enough room to put down drinks and food and whatnot because otherwise it's not functional and you're gonna be moving all of your accessorizing every time people come over. This way, your guests get to enjoy your beautiful work on your coffee table and eat, and hopefully you're a good cook. So for the pillows, I really feel like they're like a piece of art. We pick up the colors from the ceiling in that back wall in the navy blue, and then we did some neutral pillows with beigey, taupey, and gray to pick up on the carpet, and together they make a perfect combination. The circular nature of the chandelier with its cage effect goes really beautifully with the art which had circles in it and that sort of open airy bowl that's on the coffee table. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and comment. I'd love to know your thoughts.